In this video, I will demonstrate how to create a reconciliation report to compare financial records in a few minutes using the Copilot for Finance add-in. In the example, I'm using two worksheets. On the first sheet, you can find a trip budget with dates, expenditure categories, and budget amounts. On the second sheet, there is a bank statement with bank transactions on different dates for different amounts and we have the transaction categories. Make sure that your data is in table format. Click the Copilot icon. The next step is to click Reconcile Data to compare your financial records. Add two worksheets and tables to reconcile, and click Next. Now we need to select at least two columns, one of each type, for each table. First, add mapping keys to find matching records. The first key is the date. Add the date column from the trip budget table, then add the transaction date column from the bank statement table. Click the Add column to add one more mapping key. Select the Expenditure Category column from the Trip Budget table. Then select the Transaction category from the Bank Statement table. Finally, add Monetary columns which are used to reconcile values. Select the Budget Amount column from the Trip Budget table. Then select the Amount column from the Bank Statement table. OK, click Next. On the left side, we have the records from Trip Budget. And on the right side, we have the records from the bank statement. In this column, the report shows the differences between the two tables. We have here three different types of records, which are unmatched transactions, potentially matched transactions, and matched transactions. Take a look at the matched transactions. For February 19th, for flights from the trip budget, we have $700. Then from the bank statement, we also have for February 19th flights with $700. So they match perfectly and the difference is zero. All the records over here that matching and the difference will be zero. The second group contains potentially matched records. Here we have four records. On February 19th for the food from trip budget, we have $120. From the bank statement for February 19th, food will also be $120. So, the difference is zero, and the records match perfectly. The question is why this is being classified as a potentially matched transaction, rather than a matched transaction. We are talking about matched transactions when there is a one-to-one -one relationship between the records in the trip budget table and the bank statement table. Potentially matched transactions have three types of relationships, one-to-many, many-to-one, or could be many to many. For example, a single record in the trip budget table corresponds to two transactions in the bank statement table on a given day, and the difference is zero. The third category is unmatched transactions. These records are characterized by having different amounts, or somehow it's not being classified. If you want to create a detailed report in a text format, select the entire table and copy the data. Then, you can use the Data Analyst by Chad GPT feature. Simply paste the data. Based on this picture, the Data Analyst feature will create a detailed report. It provides this reconciliation report summary to tell us about the 20 unmatched transactions, the 4 potentially matched transactions, and the 13 matched transactions. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more tips, subscribe to our channel and stay tuned.